this is actually our third video on our aquaponics system as you can see everything is going very well this is a six week letters um, it's actually doing very well lots the water system I will explain later how the process works but so far uh, from just this test system so far we've had a really good result so I think we're gonna probably keep the same design um, I am doing this as my thesis on aquaponics, my senior thesis for school. But again, I also want to do this as a small scale uh, agriculture and uh, actually expand it to third world countries. It's just a good way to actually uh, for sustainable agriculture, and I think they need it more than us. Uh, so I'm just going to go and break down on a few plants and see how each and every single plants we actually grew here, how they actually do it. Uh, here we have a tomato, a tomato plant that's doing very good. You can see it loves this system, very healthy looking tomatoes. Um, uh, right now we're actually working on kind of uh, a way to find a stabulate for it. We'll actually put some holes over here and a string up here to hold it and make it stable. Um, and I'm going to explain the, uh, how the whole science behind it works uh, in a little bit. Here we have herbs. This is basil. Everybody likes that and it's actually doing very well. And over here we have collards. Very healthy. Uh, five weeks in. It's growing very, very good. And you can see a good, healthy, clean root system over here. Um, and uh, I actually took it to the extreme and we wanted to see uh, even the bigger plants will this system be able to support the root system and we decided to actually grow bell pepper this is bell pepper and it's actually doing very good and it's very healthy you can see the root system is following the nutrients in the water and we have to space out the plants these plants, these letters over here, they're actually very, uh, two weeks behind compared to the big letters. And that way when we harvest, we have something else ready. Um, and now we're going to go to the science behind it. So uh, under here, we have our little fishies. These are actually goldfish. I have 20 goldfish here. You will see them as I feed them. They'll come up here. And start eating these are the guys that makes everything happens right now you know it's a recommend to have edible fishes and that way you have both your vegetables your uh, vegetables and protein from uh, edible species but I am not going to do that we're not going to do that until next year when I start some tilapia years uh, so this is how the system works this is our grow media over here we have cucumbers, we just threw these seeds in and everything else grew. Uh, this is where the bacteria converts ammonia to nitrite and then nitrates. Um, it, it eventually takes almost 12 weeks for the conversion to complete, even though some people claim otherwise, they say it takes sooner. But with the science and the whole conversion, I think it takes 12 weeks with my observation myself. Um, what happens, the water from the fish tanks get pumped up to the system. Um, when it comes down here, uh, the water goes on the media itself. And here, as you can see in the center of it, we have what is called a bell siphon. A bell siphon acts as a drip, a dry, dry and flow system. What happens, it's drain and flood system. It drains the bed and let it flood. Um, when I say flood, it's not uh, necessarily the roots that are getting flood, but it's the bed itself, this planter box. So when it goes up, it shoots, kicks in the bell siphon. Right now the bell siphon is closed. So nothing is happening, the bed is flooding. And then as soon as it gets on the very top, on the level where we want it to, uh, then it's gonna kick in and it's gonna drain the whole bed. That way, we're avoiding uh, the, the roots from getting flooded with constant flow of water and the water to be stagnant in the bed itself. And also prevents the algae 
uh, gives enables the bacteria to um, have enough time to get the oxygen um, when it's flooded so the oxygen actually seeps in there and also the nitrogen from the air too gets uh, a little bit you can see now it's flooding and then it's gonna drain it all so it's flooding to their point and then it's gonna kick in and drain it all you'll see one two three yes so now it's draining the whole system this is just a mechanical system we don't use electricity on this part everything is just physics simple physics it's just air uh, maintaining the air pressures from outside of the pipe and inside the pipe and then when that uh, equalizes it sucks water in and the water pushes down the wall uh, the, the air pushes down the wall uh, when the bubbles get to the water itself it enables the fish to get um, oxygen as you can see they love these water bubbles for a 50 gallon tank what we are using there now for testing it's enough to uh, uh, to make sure fishes are getting optimum temperature and ultimate oxygen for their survival and of course with this system since we are solely depending on fish to be the source of ammonia we need them to be happy so once they are happy our plants are gonna be happy as you can see this is the results of happy fishes so it is the conversion to, to go uh, into more details it is all about the conversion of ammonia to nitrite and the nitrates. The nitrosomona bacteria converts ammonia to nitrite from NH4 to NO-2, it's a nitrosomona, and then from NO-3, it's a nitrobacter bacteria. They convert the nitrite to nitrates, and that eventually takes the whole cycle complete in two three to 12 weeks to my experience that's when i actually was able to test uh, the water and see actually there is a substantial amount of nitrates to support uh, plants but some people depending on the amount of ammonia depending on how fast the media is and how the bacteria are working it could be different it's just that is just from my experience so far and i hope maybe in the future you will form even uh, sooner we did have a little problem with the system, which we're going to have to tweak it a little bit on the water levels. Some plants don't want a constant flow of the water level, but this is also not an NFT system. It's, a, it's an NFT system crossed with the WC system, deep water culture. What happens is we don't have just a column of water at the bottom, but we have a halfway filled. In that way, you get just enough room on the oxygen to flow in the tank in the uh, pipes itself on the four inch pipes the uh, pvc and also the bubbles to flow and enable oxygen and the roots not to be uh, um, flooded okay and on the system itself it covers a footprint of four by six okay that will be the same amount as what a regular farmer will have at the planter bed itself. But this is small. The footprint of this is very small. It's twice the yield of what you can grow on a regular plant. You don't have to water. You don't have to worry about weeds. You don't have to use expensive fertilizers. And your plants are 100% organic. So you're eating healthy. No, healthy body, healthy mind. So that's our target and that's the future. Uh, Every single thing from this system grew from the seed. We put a seed in the plant and on the media and everything just grew just like that. The lettuce actually sprouted in three days, literally three days. But after the conversion of the nitrate was complete. Um, to go into more details, we had a problem uh, as you can see on the leaf over here. The plants were getting burnt a little bit because it was 110 degrees here in the summer and we didn't have any crop, any barrier to do it to protect the plants from that. And as you can see, we're still outdoor, just like any outdoor plants will be and they're still doing very well. So we're actually building a greenhouse right now, which is a 8 by 32, uh, approximately uh, 246 square feet. Um, it's gonna have a, a de design, almost similar design to this, what we are, the system that you have to see, but we are trying to actually make this more so efficient in a way we can actually maximize 
you're trying to have 10 times of what we can go in there. Probably be a lot of supply of lettuce in this tree, so hopefully that will actually work out. And that will be it. You will actually get an update on how we are doing and once we start uh, growing, raising our eatable fish, uh, specific tilapia or bluegill, we haven't decided yet, but once we get to that point, you guys will get more feedback. Thank you. So far, uh, I am going to actually show you one of the uh, letters. Uh, this guy is actually four weeks. So it's full, it's getting to fully grown because the lettuce usually go up to six weeks. But it looks very healthy as you can see. Good green, good part. Like you can see how the root, the leaves are broad and how green they look. And you can see the roots. Look how clean these guys are. So it shows you exactly there is actually good filtration system from the water itself. Uh, it's only a four inch PVC pipe. And I'll go into details on how the system itself works and how it is, okay? So this is just what one or what we have. It's just a regular lettuce, like I said before. And over here, we got this big guy over here. This guy is just regular crawl. Can you get this one real quick? Um, look how big and healthy this guy looks, okay? So it's getting ready for harvesting. We're probably gonna have some colors today. Everything organic, no fertilizer whatsoever. Um, the healthy eats right that's what we are talking about that's what everybody's talking about right and uh, over here I'm gonna show you just a little tomato right it's the yellow Roma tomato these are very unique actually I love this thing because it's gonna have actually uh, when they ripe they actually turn yellow so it looks good and uh, it's healthy it's a little short I don't know what's happening over here but I feel like it's getting enough nutrients it shows that it's healthy but it's already flowering so I guess this is the height they go up to but Again, it's all testing. We're gonna, I guess, we're gonna have a lot to find out. So, this is just one of the yellow Roma tomato, like I told you. Eat a lot of collards. Eat a lot of broccoli. I'm gonna grow a lot of broccoli on this system because so far it's showing that it's actually um, able to support even the bigger root system. Uh, over here on on the very top, you can see I got this uh, another collard. Looks very healthy. And I decided to actually put holes on the side of the PVC in that way I can fit more plants on one pipe. Um, so I have this hole on this side, it's targeted to the other hole. The other hole is in the middle, it's targeted on the other side. But this came out and just followed the light. So it just worked like I thought it will, you know. So as the letters is coming out and go up, okay. Uh, we have a lot of different plants. I actually went from letters to bell pepper. I have a little bell pepper, one of my favorite. You know, I'm still waiting for this guy. It's taking its sweet time to grow, but I'm like, hurry up. I want to see if you're actually going to get fruits. We have the other bell pepper on the other side that's growing fruits, but I have special interest on this because this is yellow. So we will see how this turns out to be, okay? Um, over here, I have my first, very first letters. This guy was like one of the first seven weeks. Okay, and I kind of let it all grow, you know, and just look at it because I love it. It looks good. Uh, it should have been harvested a long time ago. I want, I wanted to see, you know, how much root system this uh, system will be able to uh, support. So so far, I only know lettuce doesn't really have that much uh, roots, but uh, the system can handle quite a bit of amount of lettuce in it, and it will actually be more perfect. It will be perfect for lettuce because lettuce seems to do better than anything else, and that is my interest, anyways. Okay, um, if you can come on this side, I will show you even bigger plants uh, with much larger root systems like tomatoes. We have this tomato over here. It's actually those big, kind of rounded and it has like lines on it everywhere. Uh, has a lot of fruits in it. You can see like this is actually seven weeks. I grow. I put this seed same way, uh, same day as I put that first lettuce that I showed over there. And you can see the fruits like everywhere. So we're gonna have to come up with a way that I can actually put like a string down here and go up there on the stand itself to support it even though so far it's doing very well because it's just leaning over the pipe and it's probably gonna lean on this other pipe and go up okay uh, we have basil 
herbs everybody loves these guys you gotta have basil it's not doing very well as I thought it would but it's still growing from seed so that is what I wanted to test it means if we can get to this point I can just move it to the plant to the grow media and it will still do very well the only problem that this guy is getting right now it doesn't like a lot of Sun and over here in the in California we are facing like a hundred degrees of temperature uh, because of that the guy yeah, looked a little yellow not because of the nutrients lack of nutrients because it's just right next to the tomato and the tomato is almost like a pH scale uh, plants so that you can see all your pH level the, the nitrates level by looking at the tomato itself so that's why you have to have at least one tomato in your system to actually look for the pH levels that's just another look thing. at this okay. guy it's a small color too it's gonna give you an estimate of a root system what a bigger color like this will have okay this guy is still growing okay it's a rotation system that's why you have bigger plants you have smaller plants once you harvest this one you want this one to be growing so you have constant supply of plants throughout the year okay and you know right now we're still working on the process we need to have a greenhouse and now where we can have a more controlled environment like i said earlier uh, but that is work in progress of course you're not going to have everything in one day right okay so this is it look at that looks like a looks like a beard a little bit more like this beard <laughs> okay that is another color right there show you bell pepper already show you basil already show you regular papers over on that side they're doing very what well what i'm gonna do i'm gonna have a bigger system like this on our greenhouse that we're building right now me and my friend bob Uh, we're gonna have that uh, with it's a 8 by 44 close to 44 so close to 250 around that area square feet it's not too very it's not a very very big um, but uh, we want to see how much we can produce in that footprint because right now we're on 4 by 6 footprint and we're producing just enough to have three planter beds without any use of fertilizer, without have to worry at any single time of the day. I do this, I go to school, I go to work, come back home, get fresh vegetables. Anybody can do it, whether you're in town or whether you don't have water. The only thing you need to start is 50 gallon of water. So if you can fetch this at the river and let it for the chlorine to go away and have your fish, you can have fish and vegetables in a 50 gallon tank, so you can do it. Okay, the reason I'm doing this, I have a special interest, a special being from the tropic countries where it's very hot, we have a very good supply of water, but again, the access access for water is very limited. People don't get access of water like how we do here. Okay, so those people can have a tank and fish tank and just fetch water in the river, like how you do it in the water tap. Whatever you can get it, let the chlorine go away. Put your fish in there. At the end of the day, you don't have protein, very good protein, source of protein. Right now, I'm using goldfish. I can't eat them, but starting with tilapia or bluegill you can eat them and a greenhouse provides the controlled environment so that's why i'm so excited about this and i am very happy for it i will show you i'll have a video follow up after i'm done with my pieces in the greenhouse it's going to be done at the end of the semester when i graduate but uh i will show you up and make a follow-up video to show you how the greenhouse looks thank you very much